Where is our son? My fiance's son died, and now I'm accused of taking his ashes. What did you do to the dead oh, ashes? Do you know what happened to him? Look at him. He's gone. The evidence points to you. Yes, it does. I didn't do it. At the very least, tell her what happened to the ashes. Where is my son? Whatever you know, you better tell her now. Are you calling your girlfriend's children racial names? Absolutely. They're half-breeds. They act retarded. How are you going to sit here and say that thing about my care. kids? I don't care. They call you daddy. I ain't beating on them. How, how is you calling them names any better than beating on them? They need to get ready for it when they run into somebody like, like me. How old is the one that he's calling that name? He's five. Five years old? He's abusing your children. I'll say what I want, dude. I'll kick you out of the studio, and then we won't hear anything you have to say. For the reason he acts like this is because he thinks I'm a cheater. No, I don't want to give this guy anything. No DNA, no lie detector results. <laughs> Andrea tragically lost her 10-month-old son in 2009. As a memorial, she had him cremated and has kept his ashes inside a box at her home. Two months ago, these ashes came up missing, and she believes that her fiancé, AJ, took them after an argument that led him to pack up and leave. AJ admits to taking her cell phone in stereo, but claims he has no clue what happened to the boy's remains. Take a look. A few years ago, my fiancé's son died, and now I'm accused of taking his ashes. And the only way I can clear my name today is to take a lie detector test. She's saying I took them because I've mentally and emotionally abused her in the past, and I've threatened to take them before, but I will never go that far. I understand why she thinks I did it, but I want to show her that I didn't. These ashes are precious to her. These are the only remains she has of her child. It hurts me to know that she doesn't believe me, but that's why I'm here. I'm hoping that she'll get the results and we can better our relationship and work on our future. I understand you lost your son in a very tragic way, and I want to say I'm very sorry for your loss. You. Since then, though, you had him cremated. Uh, you had a little memorial set up in your house to your yes, son. Yes, it's on a with table. His, with his ashes and a picture. What happened the day your son's ashes went missing? We had got into an argument. I honestly don't even remember what the argument was over. You and your boyfriend? Yes, me and AJ. I told him to leave. He left. He came back sometime in the night. Um, I woke up, he was in the bed with me. I told him, basically, get the hell out of my house. And um, he left, and as he was walking out the door, I could hear my cell phone go off, and it was in his backpack. So I went after him, I noticed some other items were missing. Um, I wasn't fully dressed, so when I got ready to go out of the house to chase him, I ran back in, and coming in, that's when I noticed that um, his tigger was knocked over and um, the latch was up on the box. So I immediately opened it and I noticed that he was gone. And I can't even imagine uh, the pain that you go through knowing, first of all, losing a child, um, but second of all, what you have left of him is gone when you that moment I just have pictures and I have his clothes I have a spot on my wall where he was eating some cookies and like slapping it on the wall and that's all I have left why do you believe that AJ would do something like this because when he's upset he's very vindictive he's very hurtful he will do anything it takes to hurt me even if it he has to go through my children to do it and he's told me in the past during arguments like shut up before I knock him thank you shut up before I knock him out of his box or um, he would say things like that and then he steals from you right who you know what kind of person steals from somebody they love uh, He, he did take uh, a cell phone and what else? It was a um, like a deck with a t like a touchscreen TV on it. Okay. Like a nice he steals that. System. You call the police, right? Right. He he got locked up. Well, they kept telling him if you just tell her where her son is, you will not go to jail. Right. And he was adamant. I didn't do it. I would never do that. 
even though he did make threats that he would do it. Right, and he's admitted, he even admitted to them that he's threatened me because he knows that's the one way to really hurt me. So he goes to jail for a while, mm -hmm. and I guess they offered uh, to take a lie detector test, but for some reason it never got done. Um, in California, they said that it was a misdemeanor, and pretty much it wasn't an important enough case for the state to pay for or, a lie right. detector. So that's why you're here, because you right. definitely want to know. I have to know. But he got out of jail, mm -hmm. and you took him back. Yep. Why? Because I have to know. You have to know. I have to know what my so son more is. So not just the reason of, oh, I'm in love with him, I'm going to forgive everything. I, wanna, I want this guy close so I can find out the truth. That's unforgivable. But yes, I need to know where my what son if, what is. What if he did take him? I don't even know how I would be able to react. You, I mean, you would never be able to spend another day with them. Never. I'm like really pissed off right now even listening to this story. And if this guy, if this. <laughs> if this guy did this, I'm gonna wanna kick his ass, you know? <laughs> To him. Look at him. He's gone. The evidence points to you. Yes, it does. I didn't do it. At the very least, tell her what happened to the ashes. Where is her son? Ashes. Look at him. He's gone. And the evidence points to you. Yes, it does. I didn't do it. I've heard some rotten things in my life, but this is, if he did do it, Whoever did it, it's a pretty rotten thing to do. Um, here's your boyfriend, AJ. Andre, I love you. I love you. I wouldn't do anything like that to you. AJ, just like seriously, this is. I love you, baby. I wouldn't do that. I've threatened you before. I would never do anything to hurt you that way. I've hurt you in any other way possible, but not that way. I love you too much. Really you you wouldn't to hurt her me. in that way. No, sir. But you made threats that you would hurt her yeah. in that way. What could be more painful to any parent losing a child in a tragic, tragic way? Exactly. And then you make a threat that this pain that causes you so much grief every day of your life, I'm going to compound it by taking your son's ashes. What, what, what mental defect do you have that you would even say something like that? What, how low of a human being are you? That you would threaten a mother who lost her son, that you would take what you have left of him. I believe that's inhumane, and I said a lot of things. I, I have hurt her. I admit that, but I didn't take her son. But you, you took I, her cell phone, and you took some <laughs> other property of hers? Yes, I did. What, what, okay, why'd you do that? Um, actually, I took the cell phone because I was going to take care of some business. And oh, I took, yeah. I took the phone. At what, 2 o'clock in the morning? No, actually, it was at 6 o'clock in the, in the morning. And, you know, the officers pulled me over. I expected them to talk to me about the cell phone and the radio. I admitted to them about that. But when they said her son's remains, I just... I didn't know what to do. I told them to take me there immediately. And they took me there, they offered me, they told me they would let me go if I just gave it back. No matter, even if I threw it away or anything, they wouldn't take me to jail. At least tell her what happened, right? Exactly. And I couldn't tell them. And they were like, well, are you willing to take a polygraph test? So <clears throat> I go to jail and I asked them to take a polygraph test and the people told me that they wouldn't be able to do it. Well, you're here now and you took one today, right? Yes, sir. Obviously, if he fails this lie detector test, all hell is going to break All loose in his gonna life. All hell is going to break loose. Okay. Anything you want to say? All I want to say is I understand that this is your pain. I understand the, the actions of this. I know even now him being missing opened the wound, him not being returned to open the wound, and even but after these even tests. you making those threats in the way that you are, that wound was already open. I'm him sorry. missing is just, that's not a wound. I know. I'm sorry. I love you. That's my son. No Look at him. You. I didn't do it, baby. And he's gone. I didn't do it. If somehow he did pass this, 
the way that he's treated me and the way that he acts and his lack of concern and compassion, it just says if he didn't do it, it's not a guilty conscience, then he just doesn't care. I, hey, listen, this is a TV show, but truthfully at this moment, I don't give a damn about the show. I really don't. What I care about is somebody standing up and saying, you know, I really did something horrible here, and I need to tell you, and I don't want to read it off a piece of paper. Exactly. I want to really give you a chance here to say, if you did it, I don't know if you did it. I don't know what the lie detector results read. But I'm just saying, you know, I have to look at the, the totality of the evidence, and the evidence points to you. Yes, it does. It does. So I'm saying, if you were so mad, and you must have been that mad that night because she kicked you out of the house and you stole from her, here's your chance to really say, you know what, as much as I'm going to, you know, I know you're never going to want to be with me, I got to tell you the truth. That was, the officer gave me that chance. He gave I, me I that. don't care. I'm right now. I have nothing. To, I didn't do it. You better hope you pass this test. I'm serious. Did you personally take the missing ashes? You answered no. Are you calling your girlfriend's children racial names? Absolutely. They're half-breeds. They act retarded. How are you going to sit here and say that thing about my kids? I don't care. Kids? Give a they call you dead. My son. Whatever you know, you better tell her now. Did you personally take the missing ashes? You answered no. You told the truth. Oh my God. Did you participate in any way to take those missing ashes? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Do you know for sure who took the missing ashes? You answered no. And you did not tell the truth. You dispose of the missing ashes. You answered no. And he did not tell the truth. Where is my son? He's Where lying. is my son? He's lying. He's lying. I love you. Oh my God. I I'm need to get so off of here. I'm f***ing you up. Where's my son? Like, fine. I'm serious. That's I fine. want my son. That's fine. I know what I didn't do. I know what I didn't do. And Why I don't, don't you tell her what happened to her son's ashes? Oh my God. Can you take another lie to take her? I'll pay for one when I go home. I'll Why? Pay for one when I go home. You don't need to take another one. Honestly, this one it says, Did you personally take the ashes? No, you didn't do it. But you know who did, and you disposed of the ashes. What? Why don't you dare tell her where her son is at? Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? No, I knew it. I knew it. I understand that. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, you're, you know what? Well, what did you do to the damn ashes? Oh, well, do you know what happened to him? Sir. At the very sir, least, sir. tell her what happened to the sir. ashes. I have beliefs of who took it. I didn't what take that, it. Why don't you go out there and tell her that? No. talking about taking another test, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. You know how many times we gave this test for? Seven times. Hey, hold on. 
Hold on. Listen. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. Listen. You said you know something. Whatever you know, you better tell her now. I, to I told you. I think. I told you. I think. Or I think. I think. Are you kidding me? The questions. The questions that he asked me. It has to be word for word. He didn't word for word it. Okay. I told you that. Oh, I told you that. Where is my I'm ready, son? I'm ready for. A I want. I want to know where my son is. I want to bring out the man that administered the test, Dan. Um, oh my God! Before and you need bigger I security. rip my stage apart, Dan, to try to get this, I, I don't even want to, you know, this oh piece God. of garbage on my stage, oh my who God. has something to do oh with this poor woman's dead son, and obviously we administered the test how many times? We ran a series of seven charts total. Oh yeah. We did, we did and what three. do you want to explain about AJ's lie detector test? Okay, I conducted seven polygraph tests using three different techniques. Okay. This is the same test that I would do when I was testing for police departments and courts. The concealed information test is the last test that I gave him, which basically picks out of his brain information that I want to know. Did he participate? According to the polygraph test, yes, he did. Does he know for sure who took the remains? According to the polygraph, yes, he did. Did he dispose of the remains? Yes, he did. Does he know who did it? And I'll say that again. On this stage, I don't care about this show. I want to know where my son is. I don't care about the show. I'm just not trying to be in jail out here. I'm going home to my kids, but. Up. I want to know where my That's son is. Baby. I didn't take Where him. is my son? I don't know. Where is my son? I don't know, baby. I'm looking in your eye. I don't know. I don't you know what? Know. Keep speaking in a more quieter and quieter voice. So, Eli, yeah. where is her son? When they took the test this morning, yesterday they told me not, yesterday they told me not to take a Red Bull. I drank a Red Bull this morning. They you what? This morning they told me not to not to drink a Red Bull. I drank a Red Bull in the studio. A Red Bull? Yes, I didn't know. I didn't know. So a Red Bull made you fail. A I Red guess. Bull made you. I don't know. Made your... I don't know. Bring the light detector dude out here. Ask him that. Yeah, there's a no. Red Bull. Yeah, no, no, no. no. He don't you know. can drink like ten Red, Bull. Red Bulls. It's Thank not going to make you oh fail. Oh my God. Okay, so. I'm to be in jail so. in Connecticut. Oh my God. Oh, we tested you so yesterday, yesterday, so yesterday and today. Yesterday I failed. He's saying he came out here and said the third you part. You failed seven damn tests. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I can because think of. Because that's the only thing and you think of. Because record, I didn't lie. Steve, my son would not cremate. It was literally bones okay, in so a bag. See, there's some it wasn't too. ashes. Exactly. It wasn't even ashes. It was exactly. his bones. Exactly. So you had to carry that away from there. You had to dispose of that. Dispose, as they put it, of that somewhere. So you're not going to tell her. And then you're not sit in my face and lie to me. You're not going to tell and her And be around my kids. Oh my God, watching us suffer. You're not going to tell her anything. I keep like the way you keep speaking in that softer and softer voice. What does that mean? What does that mean? You know, we're going to show I took this shirt. Scummiest guys I've ever had on this show. Oh my god. This obviously isn't the closure that you wanted. But you did get some closure because you know who did it and you know who was involved with it. But I want to know where he I know, is. I know. And I, I want that for you more than anything. But you do have some answers and I hope this helps you and I hope it makes it that you never spend another day again with this guy ever again. Thank you. I just. You got to remember your son when he was alive, and you got to honor him in your memory. And hopefully, hopefully someday, somebody will have the courage to tell you the truth and the complete truth. And if that day comes and we can help in any way, as long as I'm around, I will help you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Sorry. 
Are you calling your girlfriend's children racial names? Absolutely. They're half-breeds. They act retarded. How are you going to sit here and say that thing about my care. kids? I don't care. They call you dead. Are you calling your girlfriend's children racial names? Absolutely. They're half-breeds. They act retarded. Ashley is tired of her boyfriend Jason calling her children racial slurs. And she wants to prove that he is the father of her four-year-old daughter. Jason has doubts because he believes the child is half Mexican. And he says he will never truly love her other kids because of their race. Take a look. My boyfriend is way different towards my other two children because they're biracial. He'll sit there and he'll call them spicks and he'll yell at them a lot more when they get in trouble and he'll call them beaners and he'll just push them away like he doesn't want to be around them at all. And it's pushing me and him further away and my kids don't deserve that. But my other children that are Caucasian and they're white, he treats them totally different. Like my, my nine month old. Um, he treats him totally different because he knows he's his and that he's, he, that he's white. He tells me, he says, oh, well, the four-year-old isn't mine because she looks Hispanic. She doesn't, she doesn't look 100% white. She's not mine. And so I'm here today to prove that she is too because I'm tired of him saying that she's not and treating her differently. And also, I think he's cheating on me. I've been expecting it for a long time now, and I'm here today to see if he is, and here today to prove that I'm not cheating on him. I wouldn't do that. I'm not like that. I don't think it's right at all. When we got into this relationship, he knew that I had biracial kids, and he needs to treat them all equally because they don't deserve that. They didn't ask to be brought into this world at all, and I expect him to treat them equally and not any different. They know him as their daddy. They don't call anybody else daddy at all. They love him, and that's their dad. I can't see them be treated like that anymore. So either he stops or I'm gonna leave him. I can't do it. Jason, are you calling your girlfriend's children racial names? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you, you have to stand up out of the chair. <laughs> um, now, why, why would you throw racial insults at children? Huh? You just don't. Uh, well, you do know. Um, you you have to have a reason why you do that. I just You're don't not, like uh, them. You, they're they're, they're half breeds. They just they they act retarded. That's what happens when you inbreed. Act retarded. Yep, that's what happens when you inbreed. They act retarded. Inbreed. Yeah. She, Mixed races. Do you yeah, know what inbreed means? If God means? wanted to. Do you know what inbreed means? Yeah, when means? families. Do, right. But it's but she wasn't same, sleeping same, with her brother, same, right? Same concept. Same concept. Different story. Same concept. And where did learn this from? I don't know. Just picked it up along the way, I guess. And you being a Caucasian male, you feel you're better than the Hispanic race? Wouldn't say I'm better than them. I, I mean, I, I, should they be less proud? Yeah. Should they be less proud? Less proud of what? Proud of, but they ain't got nothing to be proud of. They're trying what to come you, to my country. Oh! Coming to my country. Your country. Yeah. Coming on my I hate the illegal ones. Gotta hate them. What, what are you so proud of with what you've done with what your about life? Me, me as an individual yes. or is, is the white, race, individual. The white well, race in a whole? Forget the white race. Well, me I mean, as an individual, as an individual I, what I, have you done? What are you, I, what are you proud I, I, of? I work two jobs, take care of my kids. I, I mean, I've, I've, I've been to school. I almost, you, I almost you graduated college. You take care of your kids. How many kids do you have? I, I got one. One in question. One for one sure. One or in one question. in question? There's two of them. One's in question. One's in question. One I for sure have. Okay. And then the other two kids that are not happen to be yours, and they happen to be of mixed race, you don't treat them the same way, and they're all living in the same not house. Not at all. I don't tell them to call me daddy. She does. They shouldn't call me daddy. I ain't their daddy. Well, that, but, but she says you treat them in other ways. First of all, you, you insult them. Because she don't treat them, period. She don't do nothing. They run around the house. Why would you be want. with a woman that doesn't take care of her kids? Because uh, I, I, when I first got back with her, when I first got back with her, I figured she might she might be a good mother. But you know, after three, four kids, you, you figured you'd pick up. So some. why are she you here it. today? Uh, I don't know. Why didn't you just break up with her? 
because I love her. I've, I've been off what and on with her. What do you love about her? She's I've been, terrible mom. I've been off and on with her for seven years. I, exactly. But and her she is, sleeps with her, Mexicans. Her as a mom. <laughs> her as a mom and her as an old lady is two different things. Her as a mom and her as an old lady is two different things. She's a wifey. She's a good wifey. But as a mom, she sucks. Seeing your wife crying in the tape, that bother you at all? Hell no. Nah. So... Your wife, Wasting tissue. Your wife. Killing it, trees for nothing. Wow, you Don't care about nothing but me and mine. You look more like a skinhead to me. I might, I might look like a skinhead, but there's nothing about me that relates to a skinhead. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just like any other white man, but I, I'm, I'm just like real with other, it. I, I'm, I'm just real man. with it. Are you it. like me? Yeah, oh, yeah. keep fooling yourself. Keep fooling oh, yourself. Keep, how do I fool myself? You keep fooling how yourself. How do I fool myself? Keep fooling yourself. How do I fool myself? I got enough pride to stand up for what I believe in. That's what I'm doing. How often do you call these kids uh, names? Hmm. Whenever I'm sitting around. Probably every day. Probably every day. Once a day, at least. Um, knowing that you are such a... I don't know, white supremacist or... No, I'm, I'm nothing like that. But you're very I'm, proud of the I'm white race. I'm proud of the white race. Knowing that your girlfriend uh, slept with people of other races, I would think that you would want a pure woman. Well, see, when we first... When, we, when she first got pregnant... <laughs> right, 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 you got to scratch the head. When she, when she first got pregnant, she told me the kid was my kid. Stayed in the hospital with her for nine months, baby came out half Mexican. I ain't beating on them. Alice, how is you calling what? them names any better than beating on them? They need to get ready for it when they run into somebody like me. He's abusing your children. I'll say what I want, dude. I'll kick you out of the studio, and then we won't hear anything you have to say. I ain't beating on them. Alice, how is you calling what? them names any better than beating on them? They need to get ready for it when they run into somebody like me. Do you feel like you're damaging those children? Do I feel like I'm damaging yeah, them? Yeah, when you call little children racist names. You want an honest answer? No. Yes. I feel like I'm preparing them for the real world. <laughs> okay. Think when they go to school they're going to get treated good? I guess I'm supposed to ask you if you think that Ashley's cheating on you. Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. I hope she is. Um, <laughs> I hope she is, too, because I, I like being right. And I hope it's a big Mexican. <laughs> nah. Nah. I smell them too easy. Smell them. Are, are you cheating on her? Cheating on her. Yeah, you've cheated on her. So let's bring out the mother of one of your children. Let's bring out Ashley. How are you gonna sit here and say that thing about my care. kids? They call your kids, they don't dude. Know I don't give a. I don't care, care about that, man. I don't give a about that, dude. You know, Watch your language. Watch your language. I don't care. Watch your I don't care you about your kids, man. You know. They ain't nobody, sit there dude. That they ain't nobody kids. to me. I care about They're me and my kids. own, dude. You I ain't hit nobody, own. man. I don't care about, about nothing but me and mine. I don't about. care about nothing to take care of nothing but me and mine. You don't care nothing yeah, about I don't. I don't. You should show them I don't. love. They didn't do nothing Whatever. wrong. Whatever. They didn't ask to be brought take here. Take him over there. Um, he, first of all, let's forget about what he's doing to you. He's abusing your children. Keep them away. Keep them away. I don't care. I mean, I listen to these stories all the time, and I, I think, like, I'm crazy. If somebody did that to my kid, like, I'd be kicking yeah. you know? yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm like, if this guy came in my house and insulted my daughter for any reason or insulted my son for any reason, he would not spend five more seconds in my house. What's up? What's up? Yeah. 
So I, you know, and I know like there's some questions on these cards about him cheating on you and you cheating on him. And truthfully, I don't give a damn. Like, who cares? If you're cheating, good for you. And if he's cheating, hopefully you'll break up with him and you'll move on with your life. Um, Fat chance. Fat chance. Just, I mean, most women wouldn't tolerate what he just did in the 10 seconds that you came on on stage. Do something about it. I try to do it because my kids. I know my but, kids but, are but getting hurt at the same time. If you were doing something good for your kids, you would not be with him. I'll hurt them kids. But on top of everything he does, kids. they love him to death. They call him, that's the only daddy they know. I want, he calls, what, he calls them racial names, right? What I'll racial names kids. does he call them? He calls them Keep so a little kid at home, when he's calling them a do they love them then? <laughs> they don't understand. They will. I know they will. They will. How old are they, they two? understand yes and no. How old is the, the one that he's calling that, that name to? He's five. Five years old? Okay. Okay, yeah, and you're boy. telling me a five-year-old doesn't know that word? How can you stay do with nothing. a man that insults your children? <laughs> you don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. Wouldn't have time to if you'd be a mom. Listen, I'll allow you to stand on my stage while I talk to I'll your give, girl. I'll say what I want, dude. Uh, what? I, I can go backstage and still say it. Well, you can we'll, kick, we'll be, kick you out of the studio we'll, we'll, and then we oh, won't okay. hear anything. I don't to care. Say. I don't care. If she be a mom, then I wouldn't be around him as much. Be a mom? Your kids are with somebody else. Are you serious? My kids what? are with me 24 yeah, 7. Yeah, right. What? Like you're upstairs? Like, like, so stupid. Okay. Um, Those are my babies. I don't care. <laughs> And I put up with it because I thought you would change for me, nope. and at least for them, because they call you daddy. Do you cheat on her? I have about 22 times. <laughs> you are the guy. You're my soul. Do you cheat on her? I have about 22 times. Why are you here today? I'm here to stand up for my kids. It's okay, mainly but for my kids. You could have done that at home. You could have done that at home. Have some. Have some. I, I mean, you're here today to find out whether he was cheating on you. Yeah, and it's true that I haven't, because I think half of the reason he acts like this is because he thinks I'm a cheater, and I go, I go mess around with all these guys. Um, do you cheat on her? I have about 22 times. <laughs> but I got reasons. But I got no, reasons. I got reasons, Ashley. I got reasons. I don't want to hear your I got reasons. reasons. Well, uh, I what, got what reasons, are reasons for cheating what on her. I got reasons. Cheat on me. I got reasons. I do everything because for you. Don't you don't do nothing with them kids. They drive me crazy. I gotta leave and do something sometime. What? I mean, what am I supposed to do? You don't deserve me. What? Uh, what, what? I mean, the, you God, don't deserve do him. something. That I mean, <laughs> do, do something with your kids. Then maintain them sometimes, man. Let me get a break. Where's my break at, huh? Go to work, come home, I'm surprised they're still alive when I get home. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, nobody watches them kids. They hang what, out a second story them? windows. All you do is stick stuff in light and socket. That's it. So you, at least not, I'm making sure they're them. safe. Uh, I mean, I'm them. not beating on them or nothing. Time with them. That's what? what they need. Uh, I mean, I'm not beating on them. What? So say something. I ain't beating on them. How is, how is you calling what? them names any better than beating on them? They need to get ready for it anyways. Nobody's going to be nice to them when they go to school or somewhere public. They need to get ready for it when they run into somebody like me. Somebody like you, then I hope they beat the out of you. Hope so. Hope so. Hope so, too. I got reasons for what I've done. He's, he's, he's right about one thing. He's, and, and I'm going to say this. It's going to hurt you, but I got to say it. He's right about one thing. You're a poor mother. 
you're a bad mother. And you know why you're a bad mother? Because you let this goofball live in your house. So, uh, now, you have a racist in your house calling racial slurs at your children. Abuse them. The guy goes on, he's admitted to 22 times that he's cheated on you. He says that you're a horrible mother, you don't even want your kids and they're hanging out the window and everything else. Now, he's here today to find out whether you're cheating. He's cheated 22 times. He obviously doesn't care about you. Uh, if you would let this guy back in your house even for one day, then you would be an abusive mother. Now, whether you're cheating on this guy, I don't give a damn. I'll read the results if that's what you want. But if it's to prove to him something or to make your relationship better, then I will eat those results before I read them. <laughs> At some point, and, and, and listen, I know you're a very young girl, 20. 20 years old, and you got four kids, right? Okay, that's tough and that's hard. And we can try to help you out in some way. But at some point, even at 20 years old, you gotta learn to say, you know what? I'm not gonna tolerate anybody abusing my children, anybody calling them names, anybody screwing my kids up in the head. I'm not gonna allow it, even if he's the father of one or two or three or none. This ugh, cannot be in the house, but it's up to you. Do you have the, the fortitude, the strength, no, she don't. Do you have to fight for your children to say, nothing. hey, she don't have get nothing. the hell out of here. I she never want to see anything. you again. She don't have anything. Come on. I'm listening. Chirp, chirp. Don't hear none. What? 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 If you're done with him, throw his ass out of here. No. I don't care about those results. Even the DNA. No, I don't want to give this guy anything. No DNA. No lie detector results. Uh, this, this guy doesn't deserve anything. Not on my dime, not on the show's dime, nothing. All right. It's just gonna hurt her more. Oh, it's gonna hurt her more? Cause I take care of mine. You take care Be of yours. Be another one she'll have to take care of. You know what, well, give good me the luck. results. Uh, you want, let's go back good on stage luck. and read them then. What? How, how does that sound good? Um, yeah. Well, let's go. We can do that. Ashley, we gave you a lie detector test and we asked you in the last month, have you cheated on Jason? You answered no. You told the truth. Keep on going, that's just one. In the last three years, have you ever had sexual contact with any other man besides Jason? You answered no. You told the truth. Now what? That's just good. <laughs> Let's get to the test. In the last three years, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other man but Jason? You answered no. You told the truth. I'm sorry. No, I want I mean, your I'm sorry. sorry. I don't want your sorry, I'm sorry, 22 girls. I don't want your sorry, 22 I'm sorry. times. I apologize. Well, I'm sorry. I'm about to leave your ass. Well, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I guess one of the reasons why... Uh, he questions whether one of the children is his, right? Um, this one here. And how, how, how old is this child? She's four. Four, and you say it's definitely his. There's, yeah. Okay. Jason? Jason, you came here and took a DNA test. And you are not the father. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you I ain't the. I told you I ain't, boy. I told you that. I told you. Now what? Now what? Huh? Where's my apology, huh? Apologize to me on TV, huh? Am I gonna get some of that? Am I gonna get some of that sorry from you, huh? No. I told you she wasn't mine, boy. I told you that. I told you that, man. I told you, dude. I told you that. Where's the door, man? Point me to the nearest door. Point me to the nearest door, man. I can't imagine for a second that your life is easy. Um, being 20 years old and having four children. But I'm, 
some small level, I have to think the fact that he's not the father of that little girl has to be good news. If he's going to live in your house and insult your children, your kids are going to grow up to be racist <laughs> like him. I mean, you have to put it down to who do you love more, your children or Jason? My children. Your children. <laughs> then you know what? You got to start making decisions like that's really the case. And like I said, I want to offer my help. If there's a way we can help you, because I know this is tough. But please, make better decisions for yourself, and especially for your children, okay? <laughs>